Hello everyone, how are you doing? Myself and my mom here are feeding calves. We're over in the heifer shed. We got the first two calf pens, calves fed here. So I'm going to show you today our process for feeding calves. So we here we have our we have our 20 bar feeders, they're milk bar so they can fit 20 calves on at a time and we have one for each pen so it stays at the pen all the time. We take them out every now and again whenever we think they need to be washed, but they don't get washed every day and because it's the same it's the same feeder same with the same calves all the time. And they also calves also have their, their meal over there. So we just pump in, we got a bar here to reach in over the gate. And there is a meter on the handle. So each of these pens are getting 50 litres, uh, twice a day, so 100 litres a day. What we'll be doing is the older ones now are getting, they're about a month old or so. We will be transferring them over to once a day and they'll be getting a little bit less milk. So we got this pen fed, they've got all their milk, so we'll just move on to the next one. So the way we've been uh, feeding the calves, it, it really allows us to get through a lot of calves fairly quickly. So we've only been here a few minutes. We're nearly at 80 calves fed. And then we have one more pen. So there's 100 calves in this shed. And uh, we're able to feed them pretty quickly. It works pretty well. The, when they get this old, they're well trained. They know what they're doing. We just kind of go in, make sure they're spread out evenly, that they're all on a teat. So all the calves are bedded up on straw. At the start, they were all on wheat or barley straw. But at the moment now, we're starting to use these big square bales that we had in for shelter. There's some more down there. And they're actually bean straw. It's the first time using it. Um, but it seems to be working out okay. It's a bit more coarse than that. We have a bale of, of uh, I think it's barley straw over there um, that we've been throwing bits in for them to eat because in case they're not eating this as much, they do like to eat a bit of straw. So we'll move over to the the bull and beefs shed now. I bought my little sign to a foot bath before before we go into the shed, just to disinfect your boots. Sometimes, especially around March time, you can get a small bit of nutritional scour and we do what we can to try and reduce that. Uh, it's nothing too serious, but uh, we might just reduce the milk a little bit and give them some water and electrolytes to make sure they're not getting dehydrated or that, and uh, just to help clear it up. So that's why I added in there, just threw in a bit of some electrolytes. With this pen, a few of them have a small bit of scour, so 
that should hopefully clear up then pretty soon and they'll be all playing it again. So we're going to head back down to the parlour, we want to get some more milk for the last few pens of calves. Our tails mob the cows and calves last few days. Their milk goes out into these tanks and a few lame cows with them as well, so some of their milk is going in here. And that's because the tails milk the first few days after the calf they can't be sold straight away. Their milk can't go into the bulk tank to be sold, so we feed it to calves. So we have it coming out through this line here in this swing arm. And it's just dripping in a bucket there but the moment, but we can swing that arm out and throw it into the tanks. In here in the dairy, the lights come on. Thank you. Uh, so we got a tap here, three-way valve at the moment. At the moment, this tap is switched so that the milk, the milk comes in from the parlor, goes through these, these filters to make sure it doesn't, there's no dirt or anything gets through. And uh, it normally travels, it goes back upstairs through the plate cooler to cool the milk and down and into the tank. And we have this tap here that we can change it over and it'll go up this line and it'll go out outside. It'll go outside to that, uh, that swing out arm for us to take off milk. So that first load that mom had got that we fed the heifers with, she was able to take it off straight away, straight from the milk line from the, the milking cows. So we currently don't have enough milk from the tails to feed all the calves, so we have to take milk that would alternately go into the bulk tank. Uh, we fed these other pens here. The heifer shed has water troughs, but these sheds don't. So we just have some some old buckets in that with the water, and we have some we have some taps here to fill them up and wash them out. So I'll probably change their water. I also want to check their feed, so they all get a little bit of meal to get them started on it. They're doing. They're probably, they're not eating a lot because they're really small, they're only starting to nibble on it. These are young pen. So, I think they might be okay for today. These could do with a bit.
all the cows fed. The weather's been it's beautiful there this morning, but it has been very wet last night, yesterday, and the night before. We've got about 13 mil all together, so it has got wet. But try and keep cows out, keep them out grazing as much as I can. Got some slurry out earlier in the week before it started raining on all the ground that was grazed. So I'm going to show end this video showing you a bit of that. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. So the guys arrived this morning, we got the tank stirred up nicely and it was just up to the third ring around there. So it's uh, nearly down a full ring at this stage, almost, or three quarters of a ring down. So a good bit of slurry gone out. They're pumping away there, off out in the fields that direction. So I'm out here in the field, we're spreading slurry. We're not that far from the yard here, uh, only a few hundred meters. But as you can see, we're spreading with a dribble bar. Our contractor has got a new Mastec 12 meter dribble bar. As uh, so the last day, you see my last video, uh, we had, I'll put a link in the description for it if you haven't seen it. it was, that was in early January, we were spreading with a trailing shoe. So the trailing, they're both uh, low emission slurry spreading equipment, but the trailing shoe kind of runs and pushes the grass aside and lays it directly on the soil whereas the dribble bar is a little bit more simple and it just uses a bit of lay flat pipe to lay it down in, in vans so there's uh, probably less grass contamination with the trailing shoe but the uh, I suppose the dribble bar is a more simple system uh, he's got a much bigger he's got a 12 meter as opposed to I'm not sure what with the trailing shoe was I think it was a six meter guessing maybe a bit more but uh, yeah certainly wider he's got two macerators on it for chopping up anything that comes its way so as you can see it's laying down the slurry in the lines similar enough to the trailing shoe so low emission slurry spreading losing less to the to the atmosphere all of the ground that has been grazed so far get that get the nutrients out into the grass get growing again for our second rotation <laughs> 